Animal Production by Dickerly Education Center Animal Production Animal production is a very important part of agricultural production, mainly due to the effective use of plant production as a source of all types of feed and the major part this industry plays in maintaining the landscape. This mainly involves submontan and mountain areas where the pastoral breeding of cattle and sheep predominates. The principal aim of animal production is to produce meat, milk and eggs for the domestic market and for effective export. The type and importance of animal species that are used for livestock production varies between regions and with the categories of livestock owners. The different species play important roles for food production and income generation and have also other important non-food functions. Types of animals and birds kept by farmers in Zambia Livestock is commonly defined as domesticated animals raised in an agricultural setting to produce labor and commodities such as meat, eggs, milk, fur, leather, and wool. Livestock as a word was first used between 1650 and 1660, as a merger between the words live and stock. In some periods, cattle and livestock have been used interchangeably. Today, the modern meaning of cattle is domesticated bovines, while livestock has a wider sense. The breeding, maintenance, and slaughter of livestock, known as animal husbandry, is a component of modern agriculture that has been practiced in many cultures since humanity's transition to farming from hunter-gatherer lifestyles. Animal husbandry practices have varied widely across cultures and time periods. Originally, livestock were not confined by fences or enclosures, but these practices have largely shifted to intensive animal farming, sometimes referred to as factory farming. Now, over 99% of livestock are raised on factory farms. These practices increase yield of the various commercial outputs, but have also led to negative impacts on animal welfare and the environment. Livestock production continues to play a major economic and cultural role in numerous rural communities. Types of domestic animals Animal forward slash type Domestication status Current commercial uses Barley cattle Mammal, herbivore Domestic Commercially used for meat, milk, draft Cattle Mammal, herbivore Domestic Commercially used for meat, beef, veal, milk, leather, draft Donkey Mammal, herbivore Domestic Commercially used for mount, pack animal, draft, meat, milk Goat Mammal, herbivore Domestic Commercially used for its milk, meat Wool, leather, light draft. Guinea pig. Mammal, herbivore. Domestic. Commercially used for meat and kept as pet. Horse, mammal, herbivore. Domestic. It is commercially used to produce mount, draft, milk, meat, pet, pack animal. Mule. Mammal, herbivore. Domestic. Commercially used for mount, pack animal, draft. Pig. Mammal, omnivore. Domestic. Commercially used for meat, pork, leather, pet, mount, research. Rabbit. Mammal, herbivore. Domestic. Commercially used for meat, fur, leather, pet, research. Sheep. Mammal, herbivore. Domestic. Commercially used for wool, milk, leather and meat, lamb and mutton. Zebu. Mammal, herbivore. It is domestic. Commercially used for meat, milk, draft and hides. Types of livestock feeds. Animal feed is food given to domestic animals in the course of animal husbandry. There are two basic types, fodder and forage. 
Used alone, the word feed more often refers to fodder. Fodder, fodder refers particularly to foods or forages given to the animals, including plants cut and carried to them. The most efficient poultry units need a mere 1.6 kilograms of feed to produce 1 kilogram of chicken. Farmed fish can also be fed on grain, and use even less than poultry. The two most important feed grains are maize and soybean. Other feed grains include wheat, oats, barley, and rice, among many others. Traditional sources of animal feed include household food scraps and the byproducts of food processing industries such as milling and brewing. Material remaining from milling oil crops like peanuts, soy, and corn are important sources of fodder. Scraps fed to pigs are called slop, and those fed to chicken are called chicken scratch. Brewers' spent grain is a byproduct of beer making that is widely used as animal feed. Forage Forage is plant material, mainly plant leaves and stems, eaten by grazing livestock. Historically, the term forage has meant only plants eaten by the animals directly as pasture, crop residue, or immature cereal crops. But it is also used more loosely to include similar plants cut for fodder and carried to the animals, especially as hay or silage. Unlike fodder, which is harvested plant matter fed to animals in bunches or bales, forage is plant matter that is literally grown in a confined area with the intention of having it grazed upon by various livestock. It can be composed of legumes, grasses, corn, oats, alfalfa and other edible plants. The act of eating or grazing upon the plant matter is known as foraging. Compound feed One of the most common types of feeds used by commercial farmers is compound feed. Also known as feedstuffs, they are blends of various additives and raw materials that are formulated to specifically suit the intended animal. They are often produced as pellets or crumbles. Like modern vitamins with humans, they can be used to either satisfy the complete nutritional requirements of their target animals or as a supplement to other staples of the animal's diets. Compound feed is fodder that is blended from various raw materials and additives. These blends are formulated according to the specific requirements of the target animal. The common diseases that affect animals. 1. Anthrax. Anthrax, a highly infectious and fatal disease of cattle, is caused by a relatively large spore-forming rectangular-shaped bacterium called Bacillus anthracis. Anthrax causes acute mortality in ruminants. Symptoms Sudden death, often within two or three hours of being apparently normal, is by far the most common sign. Very occasionally some animals may show trembling, a high temperature. Difficulty breathing, collapse and convulsions before death. This usually occurs over a period of 24 hours. After death blood may not clot, resulting in a small amount of bloody discharge from the nose, mouth and other openings. Treatment and control Due to the acute nature of the disease resulting in sudden death, treatment is usually not possible in animals even though anthrax bacilli are clines. Treatment is of use in cases showing subacute form of the disease. In most cases, early treatment can cure anthrax. The cutaneous, skin, form of anthrax can be treated with common antibiotics. Preventive measures Regular annual vaccination of animals in endemic areas will prevent the disease from occurring. Vaccination may be carried out at least a month prior to expected disease occurrence in endemic areas. Never open a carcass of an animal suspected to have died from anthrax. Contact a veterinarian immediately if the following symptoms are seen and seek advice on control measures to be adopted. Black quarter, black leg. It is an acute infectious and highly fatal bacterial disease of cattle. Buffaloes, sheep and goats are also affected. 
Young cattle between 6 to 24 months of age, in good body condition are mostly affected. It is soil-borne infection which generally occurs during rainy season. In India, the disease is sporadic, 1 to 2 animal, in nature. Causal organism, it is a bacterial disease caused by Clostridium chauvoia. Symptoms Fever, 106-108 degree F, loss of appetite, depression and dullness. Suspended rumination Rapid pulse and heart rates Difficult breathing, dyspnea Lameness in affected leg Crepitation swelling over hip, back and shoulder Swelling is hot and painful in early stages whereas cold and painless in ter. Recumbency, prostration, followed by death within 12 to 48 hours Treatment Early treatment can be possible to complete cure of the animal. Consult with veterinarian immediately. Thanks for your attention. Kindly like and share our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to be the first to receive the next learning video. You may also give us a comment to suggest what topic you would like us to cover. See you later.